This is obviously Shroud of the Avatar. Uh, pre release alpha. Uh, they, they have releases every month. Which uh, let us. People who have backed the project, it's originally started as a uh, Kickstarter, I think, can get access to the game for one weekend every month. Create my character Wintermute Ofkov on a Friday night. Now, the history of this game is it's, it's by the uh, same gentleman that wrote the uh, Ultima series back in the 80s and um, Ultima Online, which is one of the, the first popular massively multiplayer online role playing games. My brother was a keen. Um, Keen player of Ultima Online. I, I was at that time living in Edinburgh with no internet connection at home, so I never really got into it. But he's uh, very interested to see how this turns out, and um, so I've I've joined him as a as a backer, so that we can uh, you know, eventually play it together or something. I should warn you that the last last of these uh, online role-playing games I, I played was Star Wars Galaxies back in possibly what, 2003, was that? And that's one I really played a lot was um, Anarchy Online, the Funcom one. I tend not to be able to put in the, the time to these sort of things. Right. Apparently, I have no body. Like I said, this is an alpha. Oh, there's my body. This is an alpha. You can't expect it all to work. Uh, yeah, so, right click, I can drag around and change, change the angle. Now, Z pulls out my axe. I can target that pig. And T to attack him. Where did he go? Oopsie. There you go, I've killed a pig. Let's put my weapon away. Yeah, unsurprisingly, the pig didn't have anything in his bag of loot. There we go. So that's combat, that is. Now... Let's see if we can find something a bit more interesting to look at. There is a bit of a weird. But the camera obviously adjusts if you're in if you're in a, a house, <laughs> and the camera adjusts to um, being inside the walls, which can mean it jumps about a bit if you're not expecting it. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll head up town. I think I remember the way. some uh, houses. One of the features of the game, like, like the Ultima Online, is that you it's possible to uh, get a plot of land and build a house on it. Oh yeah, it's portal up there, let's go to that. Let's see what that does. And transport it. So those are uh, the buildings I ran past there, I think, were, were houses. Like I said initially, this is an alpha. It's not performance optimised yet. 
so expect expect some delays and stuff if you're trying this out. T button. Shocking news. Oh, wasn't the T button again. Yes. I'm not going to promise to be good at games. Let's run around the big circle and see what happens. Oh well. Probably I'm not going to succeed in killing the deer. I'll put the axe away and uh, run off. Ah. Looks like there might be some sort of port down here. Looks like mast, doesn't it? A castle. I do find this to be a, you know, quite scenic, quite a scenic world. Oh, I see. The seaside with some boats. That's not particularly realistic, I don't suppose, but. Um, You know, some modern games with spectacular looking graphics, and <laughs> but they're per, you know, they're good enough for playing the game. And what I'm going to try and do is find a way out. Let's run along the wall until I find a door. Oops! I tell you what, let's not run into a bush. Just to show you the uh, map screen. So everyone here, you already looked at the. Um, this is a. I've got no recipes. What can I do? Carpentry. Yes, right. So this is this is a book of, of like crafting skills, basically. Um, you have an inventory. Has stuff in it, including other stuff. But it's basically, you know, a bag. Nothing in my small bag. I've got a coil of rope. A bar mould. What's this? Skinning knife. No, no, that's the inventory. Let's carry on. that I couldn't kill. Now somewhere, I'm expecting, if I carry on round the outside here, there'll be a way past this uh, rampart. You can have a quick look at the map screen to see sort of the, the scope, the scope of the world. New Britannia, I think it is. Oh. Can we get through there, do you think? No. Can I swim? I've never tried that. I 
Maybe I should go back to the uh, back to the portal. See where that takes me out again. Standing in there. Have a look around. Only possible if I'm running around in circles the last five minutes. There's a the compass. Obviously, it'd be more useful if I paid any attention to it at all, but, but there we go. There we go. Right, we're leaving the city. So, what this will do is load up the, uh, the map scene. Well, the map, I suppose. Nice, so we'll scroll out. So I can trundle around. Under the, under the hand drawn clouds. And enter a new city. Some loading delay again. City. Oh, I've been followed by someone. Someone in armour. I've, you know, I've yet to pick up any stuff really. There are chests around that if you, uh, you open them up and, and loot them, you can acquire more things. There's probably not much point in the minute because the game is reset for each uh, alpha release, everything just goes back to uh, empty characters, or, you know, starting characters. Uh, looks like an inn of some kind. So yes. This, there's not much game going on yet, there's more than what I've shown you probably. I've not been playing it much, this is, this is really just... Uh, Give you a bit of a taster of, of what's going on. And uh, hopefully, encourage you to check out the, uh, the website and, and have a look at it. Uh, given how good you know, Ultima Online was, and you know, if you remember the Ultima games in the 80s, definitely worth a try. It's not overly expensive. Uh, get in now.